how to create website in Beacons AI. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to create a website into your Beacons AI account. So the process is going to be very easy and very simple. You are going to head over beacons.ai, sign in for an account, and you are going to see this dashboard. So for those who doesn't know what is Beacons AI, it is going to be a platform that will help you to create a multiple funnel or sales channel store that you're going to have in, for example, a link in bio, a website, a, let's say a landing page. And also it will let you have an availability for a large marketing tools. So the process is going to be very easy in here. We are going to head over the link in bio and websites when you are going to sign into your account, click on here, and then we're going to see link in bio. As you can see here, we can go ahead and put our products in this specific page or the pages that we are going to put. It is not going to be a simple link in bio only. It is going to be a multiple layer or a multiple page link in bio. So we can see here the number of your referrals or it is going to be basically tracking all of the movement that is going to be uh, through your sales channels. That is it. And also it is going to be used for sign up forms uh, like that. For example, if you are going to uh, catch some uh, or the attention of the, um, let's say here visitors. So you're going to uh, create an email sign up to uh, start your uh, marketing campaigns. Now, aside from the uh, link in bio, you're going to head over the websites. So it is going to have an integrated website builder. So you're going to have here a website or proper website or a landing page. So let's click on get started. So we are going to choose one of the websites templates that are available in here. So as you can see, we can create or start from scratch and we can go ahead and use one of the templates. We have a storefront, we have some themed labeled, as you can see here, um, descriptions and also uh, pre-made templates. You can go ahead and use one of the pre-made ones or create one from scratch. So I would like to use one of the templates because it is going to be a ready to go uh, process and not starting from scratch because as you can see, uh, the colors are going to be uh, very, um, let's say, used properly and also very attractive. So let's use this entertainment and media, for example. We're going to preview first, as you can see, um, the specific um, pre-made template. Uh, this is for an artist or this is for entertainment, like having a Spotify, I think that is a Spotify player and also some of the uh, vinyl of the artist. I'm not going to use that. I'm, I'm going to search for something more simple, like selling products as this one, for example. And, or we are going to use this, adventure and travel. So I'm going to use this template by clicking on use template. And then we are going to see the website editor. We can go ahead and modify the fonts, the colors, the illustrations or the uh, covers that has been added like these into your website. Also, as you can see, we have some sign up forms ready to use. So it is going to be something that is going to be very, very helpful for us to create the email campaigns after that. So this is the website editor. As you can see, you can go ahead and click on the website and see the pages that you have. You can add a page an external page a uh, or a blank page, and then you can go ahead and put it. We have the pop-ups, so you can go ahead and promote a, a product by putting, for example, the product or something like, uh, I don't know here, the discounts. So you can add an existing product. So the method required, I'm going to uh, add one of the products, but unfortunately I cannot add it right here because we need a payment method to connect. So this is something that is crucial. So we are going to disable the pop-up. Now about the design, you can go ahead and design or change the color or the color palettes. As you can see here, we have the primary, secondary and tertiary uh, color. We have also the typography that we can change or the fonts. As you can see, we have the heading typography, the subheading, the body, and the, uh, as you can see here, the type of 
of it. So aside from the typography, you can go ahead and see the control or the button, the corner radius, and also the thickness. That means that you can go ahead and put the buttons as like these, make them a little bit sharp or a little bit rounded color or rounded corners, or make them like a teal, just like that. So these are going to be sharp. The um, standard is going to be eight and they are going to be a uh, semi filler. So aside from that, you can go ahead and control your sections by clicking on one of the sections. And then you're going to see the photo that we have on the section. It's not the photo, but it is going to be something like that. Here we have the heading. So we have the heading size, as you can see, and the subheading, the primary button, which is going to be this, join me. It is going to be label and the URL under it. And you can go ahead and see the secondary button and etc. So for the layout, it is going to be very simple. Either you are going to use this. This is the layout that has been used, I think. Yes, it is. And you can go ahead and change it to whatever you want. And for the design, you can see that we have the custom palette that has been used for the color of the button and also for the color of the text. So here we have the background image. Finally, we have it, not this one. And we can go ahead and modify the background image, add some filters, for example, light filter, dark filter, and also none. You can set up the text alignment, as you can see in here, and the buttons are going to be uh, choosing the text alignment to follow with. Also the content alignment, which is going to be at the middle, at the bottom, or the bottom, I mean, and also at the top. So we have the scaling of the video or the image, the spacing also for the top padding and the bottom padding. Aside from that, you're going to control anything in here by clicking on it. And it is going to be something like this. So if I click on this photo, for example, I'm going to see this specific, uh, as you can see, um, section uh, selector and also section editor. So here we have the background color. You can go ahead and modify it or you can go ahead and modify the columns that are here. So here we have the columns and etc. Now for this, it is going to be a sign up form. You can go ahead also and modify it. And now let's talk about the most important thing, how we can add a section. So either you are going to click on the plus section in here, or you are going to click on the plus button between either uh, uh, two sections which is going to be the intersection like that and then you're going to see the choice of add section here so you can add for the layout and content a hero a content so multi-column text and images you can add uh, some media like images and videos instagram feed youtube tiktok uh, here we have some uh, e-commerce and marketing uh, journal as you can see sections like the store or email collect emails like these so it is going to be something like that. So it is going to be resembling this. And also you can add some uh, of these spaces that are available, like the form fields. We have emails, so you can go ahead and click on add fields, add another one like a custom, uh, for example, here, uh, let's say a custom account and also a custom thing. So it is uh, going to be something easy. Now, aside from that, you're going to delete the section by clicking on the trash bin in here and confirm the deletion or the delete of the specific one. So you can go ahead and uh, see here that we can modify the menu bar, which is going to be at the top. You can add the number of the pages of the menu, the navigation in here. You can modify the content. Here we have an image or a text for the logo. You can upload some images or edit the page by clicking on navigation bar. And then you're going to see this specific, as you can see, website content. So you can rename the pages, show on the in navigation, for example, we're going to show it. And also we have external or uh, the option to set it as a home page. Basically, that was pretty much it. Do not forget that we have also a mobile view uh, that we can modify the things in here. So it is going to be resembling a little bit of the um, Wix, uh, let's say uh, Wix editor for the mobile version. I have made an error in here, so this is okay. It is going to be, I, like I said, I like the um, Wix 
a mobile editor so it is going to have here everything in place but you are not going to get that freedom to set up the uh, as you can see sections because each one of the sections is going to be magnetic and also the image is not going to be that flexible uh, this is unfortunate but I think that for beginners it is going to be something that very, is going to be very appreciated in here so everything is going to be in the uh, order place and also uh, everything is going to be in the um, let's say expectations basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content do not forget when you finish your website to click on publish just like that and get your link and then you're going to share it thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you soon on the next one